So the brothers, they said, where it all began, where, where it, it all began, this, this fitna and the people opposing the, the manhaj of Salafi, and whenever they, they, they trying to uh, dis- destroy it and neutralize the, the, the da'wah as Salafiyya, which is the da'wah of the truth and the haqq, it starts in the 1930s and 40s, way back, huh? way back, before even the Bilalians and all them, 1930s and 1940s. And he started with a man named Al-Banna, Hassan Al-Banna. Huh? Al-Banna Al-Misri, huh? from Egypt. So this man here, Hassan Al-Banna, huh? he adopted a qa'idah. هذه القاعدة التي تبناها الإخوان المسلمون كثير من الناس لا يعرفون أنها ليست لهم لكنهم أخذوها من عند رضا من قاعدة المنار والقاعدة هي نتعاون فيما اتفقنا عليه ويعذر بعضنا بعضا فيما اختلفنا فيه وتسمى قاعدة التعاون والمعذرة التعاون والمعذره. So Hassan al-Banna he adopted a doctrine or a, 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 a idea, ideology from قاعدة المنار or Muhammad Rida قاعدة المنار and which he says let's cooperate in that which we agree and let us pardon each other in that which we disagree. We help one another in that which we agree upon. Bring a Salafi. Oh, they, don't, they don't work with Salafis. That was a test for you guys. So you're awake, alhamdulillah. So they bring a Sufi, Mu'tazili, Khariji, Qutbi, Sorori, huh? Nasrani, Yahudi, Kafir. No problem. And they said, let's do some work. If they agree on how they do it, there is no problem. They brothers to one another, they get the job done. Any way, any form, nothing. But if they disagree amongst themselves, pertaining to some details, they don't refute one another and correct one another. They said, let's just pardon one another. Let's forgive one another. Like we say, let it ride. Huh? Let it ride. And that's a slang. Oh no, probably South. You have it here? Just let it ride, man, you know? Tayyib, mashallah. If I know it, so you should know. <laughs> so they said, hey, don't worry about it, man. It's okay. We help one another as long as we agree. But if it happens that we disagree, let's pardon one another. Forgive it. Don't worry about it. Leave him alone. It's okay. It's our brother. That's what they do. So therefore, this qaida of al-ta'awun al madira to help one another and to forgive one another, huh? What's its implications and practical effects? Huh? First, unrestricted accommodation and cooperation with all innovators. A limited access, membership, free membership, name it. Any innovator, if he can come and work with them and help them out, he's, he's day down with them. Second, nullification of any jarh. Criticism and tajrih and tabdi' of the innovators. Meaning that you cannot, by this qaida, huh, by this ruling over here that they are upon, no one has the right to criticize anyone. Meaning everybody is perfect. Everybody is alright. Now you may get some flashbacks. Jama'at al tabligh they never harsh on nobody. They nice and kind all time, like robots, man. Sometimes you may think they're not human beings. They cool all time. Have you ever seen a tablighi like mad? Huh? Huh? Yeah, they always like, hey brother, hey this and that, huh? Huh? Alhamdulillah. Why? They never, they never change nobody. They may see somebody making Asr 16 rak'ah. Hey, brother. <laughs> that brother, subhanAllah. That brother, hey. If you say, yeah, so what are you talking about? You got to say, the Asr is only for rak'ah. Shh, 
she don't want to run him away from the house of Allah. See? Don't want to run him away from the bid'ah to the sunnah. That's, that's what it is. I want to run him out from the bid'ah, inshaAllah ta'ala. And then when he gonna end, it's up to him, inshaAllah ta'ala. Actually, it's up to Allah. But now these are the people, ya ikhwan, we're dealing with. Huh? Tayyib.